of soda. Um, I bet you we've gotten at least 10 inches on the ground. It's drifting like crazy. I can't even see the driveway. I'm just doing it by feel. Um, I do have a mountain of snow. That is the mountain of snow in front of you. We're pushing. It's a little tricky with the 10-foot bucket, don't get me wrong, but uh, I normally wouldn't be plowing right now. It was 40 degrees yesterday, and you can see the gravel driveway. Now the state road's got about six inches on them. The neighbors, new neighbors down the road, I've never, it's been years since I've been to that house. They're stuck. So I'm gonna go over there and try to help her. And uh, I guess somebody else came to pull her out and he got stuck too. So I'm gonna go try to dig them out and try to just open up our driveway. This is crazy. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. And uh, either is that one. I just plowed that guy. That's the van that was stuck. I don't even think I took a video of that. He was stuck in the road, dug him out, pushed his van out by hand while he drove. And now he's out plowing. We're both, we're both plowing the township road because the county plows are done for the day. They pulled him at noon. So now we're both out plowing this township road to get, so he can get his kids home. And uh, I've never been through this driveway. Well, it's been years. So I'm just out here feeling through the driveway, but they're stuck bad. I'm gonna need a tractor to pull these out if I'm the one that even does it. I'm thinking they're gonna have to figure something out, unfortunately. Our 3010 might, but it rained first. There's a layer of ice underneath all this snow, so it's hard to get traction, but you can see I blasted through the township road here to make a path for his van. But uh, I'm gonna pull over here, park right in the middle of the road, because nobody's coming. This road is a dead end, and uh, it's snowed in good. But I'm gonna ask him if he's got a tractor to pull those trucks out. But I think he's just got that skin underneath. Just trying to plow down to this building site here and I'm just hitting a drift. I'm trying to get down to these horses so we can feed the horses. Just trying to open it up, not trying to clean it out. Just to get down here and back, that's it. I got our driveway up, I got one township road plowed, I got another new neighbor's driveway plowed, I got the normal neighbor's driveway plowed, and I got the horse farm plowed. Now I'm going to go park for a little bit, eat, um, lay down for a little bit, take a nap. Uh, I probably won't be able to sleep to be honest, but uh, I'm a terrible napper. Oh, looks like the snow plows already got one, but that's what happened with the wood post mailbox. Um, and then I'm going to go plow out the boss man at the farm with his 4630 John Deere and a snowblower. So I probably will just make a separate video of that because that might be kind of neat. And uh, I'm going to do that in the dark though, so I don't know how well that'll turn out. So that his wife can get to work in the morning and the lights aren't the best. I don't know how much you'll be able to see with the blowing snow and the not so good lights, but we'll see what happens. I'll have to come out and plow this out again in the middle of the night. The wind's supposed to die down around midnight, so I probably got about, oh, I bet you I have two to three hours of plowing to do once it finally stops blowing and, and, and uh, all this plowing I did will probably blow back in. So I'll have to dig it all back out, but at least it's opened up to get animals fed and whatnot. So, um, yeah, a little intermission here. Maybe I'll make separate videos, like a part series, but maybe I'll put it all in one. So, let this car go by. Go across the road here. So, thanks for watching this little section. I'll probably keep it going, though, so stay stay tuned here. I'll keep this it going. morning when I got home from work, it was 40 degrees. No, it was 40 degrees yesterday during the day. It was 34 degrees when I got home. I could see the gravel on the driveway. I woke up. Probably at least eight to ten inches of snow already. It's blowing. There's probably like a three foot drift in front of the garage. Drifted up over here. But I got it opened up enough to, for people to get in and out of the driveway for now. I need to walk over here and get the air compressor. I have a tire that's a little low on the skid loader. We're still in school waiting to be picked been up. Not giving it. The district has uh, I just plowed out our driveway. I gotta go through the yard yet, but I thought I'd go to the neighbors quick since I'm at the end of the road here. Yeah, this one, uh, this one drifted in bad. I just went through about a three foot drift. Now it's uh, back down, but this thing could be pretty going down to this uh, horse. No, I bet you we were up in the 16 inches and all the wind we had, so it's, uh, it's deep.
All done. All done. Normally I try to pile all the snow there and a little pile over by the shed. But you can see I ran out of room here. Just pushed it far back off so it does if it does drift, it just stays out of the driveway. I had to put a pile there. I pushed it all off the driveway there. There's another huge pile on both sides of the end of the driveway. Usually I try to only do it on one side of the driveway. But uh oh, lots of snow. Lots of snow. These were packed earlier, you couldn't even see my rims from busting through. But uh, we're all done now. I have to do one more thing, and then I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta work tonight. Some of you, uh, maybe I've mentioned this before or not, but um, I go to church. I'm re I like to think we're, I'm a religi religious. I, uh, being tired and not thinking things through, or I was videoing and I forgot, I undid my strap. The chain that I looped up to like a one foot link on that, I left it in the bucket. And uh, I came back out here when I realized that at the gas station I was getting diesel for the skid loader. I looked in the back and I only had one chain. And I dug around and I tried to find it and I couldn't. So I brought my magnet out. I just uncovered it. It was maybe covered about that much. Not even. It's more snow than that. St. Anthony is the patron saint of lost things. I came out here with a magnet. I said the prayer to St. Anthony. I dug around the two places that I dumped the bucket with. Um, and I just happened to be walking by here, which I think it was caught on the bottom of the skid of the snowblower from the looks of it, the way it drug. I'm very lucky it didn't go in the snowblower. But uh, I think it was behind the snowblower. It was never near the blades, but, uh, I mean, it was near the blades, but <clears throat> I'm lucky. Somebody was looking out for me this morning. All I was doing is trying to do a good deed here because he can't uh, plow snow, and I about uh, goofed up. So I'm very grateful right here. So that will be the end of this one, guys. I don't know how I'm going to splice them all together because there's a lot of footage here. A lot of big snowstorm, one of the biggest Minnesota's probably ever had in one day, um, in our area at least. Lots of snow, lots of blowing snow, but it's done. It's actually somewhat pleasant out where there's no wind.